welcome back to Didi's Kitchen and today we'll be making a, a fish dish. Uh, it is a barramanda and my dad's going to fill it inside. Okay, so what we have today, we've got a beautiful barramanda fish. Uh, the way we are thinking of doing it there, uh, we're going to fillet the fish mm -hmm. and we make some onion jam. Right? Yes. We do the fish in stages. Okay. okay. So we don't want to confuse everybody with too many games here. So we do stage by stage. So when at home, you guys can cook it up. It's going to be a little bit complicated dish. A lot of ingredients, a lot of things we're doing. We are making a, uh, we are grilling the fish for one fillet, one side of it. And uh, what can we do with the skin there? Well, God. Uh, I really want to like make something with the skin. Okay, so cook we the can, skin. You want to crisp the skin? Yeah, I want to crisp the skin. We've got nice crispy skin. Yeah. You can grill the fish. Uh, also, what we'll do, we use one side for the grilled fish. The other side, what we'll do, we use that for muslin. We can make a bit of fast, we roll it up. We make a nice saffron lemon butter sauce. Uh, and this is how we're going to do the fish. Okay, and it's going to be really, really good. Okay, so let's get started. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna fillet the fish. Dear, I'm gonna show, uh, show you how we fillet the fish. Okay. okay. The first thing we have to have a nice fillet knife. So you see the nice long blade? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure the knife is sharp. Okay, so what you do first, you take it under. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get a small cut. Keep your hands a little bit away. But I don't want it to cut. So you take cut there. It's okay. And then I'm going to. So, you can see, I'm just going this side of it, mm -hmm. give a bit of mark, mm -hmm. okay? Then cover in the middle, and then I'm going to cut this. So, you take one side. Mm -hmm. So, you have to have a really flexible blade, that's why we got fillet knife. Okay. And what you have to make sure, there's no meat left, no food. That's why right, it's all like brown. Yeah, brown and it's all and clean. And it feels like very like slimy. Exactly. And now we have, see it's nice and clean you take out. What I'll do, I will just add uh, a nice And tree. also like here and the tail, yeah. feels like so soft. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I'm going to take the skin off because you want to do the crispy skin, right? Yeah. Okay, so take the skin off the fillet. You just do the sewing action. Pull yeah. the skin with your finger. So it. Yeah. And also, you can use this to make like, you can be sustainable. You can use this for all kind of, like you can use it again. You can for make, stalks? yeah, you can make stocks and the soups. Ah, so that means we are not wasting it. Yeah. Mm, that's very clever. And look, now we got nice skin out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna clean. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So what we're gonna do, I'm just... Scrape it. Scrape but you have to do it gently because you can eat it. Ah, yes, we have to do very gently. And we have to take all the meat out. Okay, so I'll just leave it on the side for you. So put it there, okay. and we put it later on. We'll Wait, so like this okay. side? Okay, fix that one up. Yeah. So we got one fillet here. I'm gonna go to other side now. Mm -hmm. When you're flating the other side, we turn the fish around and we cut it. The same thing, but on the other side. There. Okay. So do this. Good. Again, same procedure. Follow it up. Watch your hand here. Good. Wow, that bones and there's some blood. Yeah. Some blood, that, that's a good thing, that means our fish, our barramanda is very fresh. A barramanda is a freshwater fish, it's found, you know, it's really soft flesh, uh, and you can see it's really nice and pink. Yeah. Soft flesh, nice and sweet flavor, lovely. So we've got the bone here, and this one, what we are going to use, we use this one to grill. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. Yeah. Okay, that's, we got it. So I'm gonna but if you want, mm -hmm. if you go like this way, yeah. if you want to have like more skin, yeah. you can make like peel this and make another one. Sure, but what we're gonna do, because we're going to use this one with the grilled fish. Yeah. Take your finger off. We yeah, don't want to get it cut, okay? So that's it. Yeah. So our, this one for a grilled fish. Some blood. <laughs> blood. Ooh. Okay, so I've got. This is what we're gonna use. I'm gonna give a bit of mark there. Just slit it up. So it does not shrink. <laughs> up. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a piece. Yeah. Good. So usually what you can do, you can pass through the white miser, you can mince it nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can, uh, what we are doing, we are making a mousse of this part of it. Mm -hmm. The fish mousse. Uh, what we we what, beautiful ingredients. Yes. Yeah. So what we we'll do, we just chop it up and then we make a fresh mousse. We've got um, some of salt, mm -hmm. some lemon juice and some pepper. So lemon juice is gonna go in there. So yeah. I'm finely chop. Mm -hmm. Put your hands off the bed. It will have to be really, really safe. Okay. So we're gonna do it in mouth first. Yes. Have some dill. I'll give you some dill. Oh, here. look at that uh, you dill. Can, you can pick the dills off. Uh, uh, sorry. What we need to do for these dills, we just need to get the lid. So we. Same thing. You can use the stems for like other stuff. So just saying, me and so it's gonna look like a C. Mm. Yes. And that dill goes very well with the seafood and fish. Mm. Yes, is it? So, so good. I got some nice chopped one. Put some salt and pepper there and that one. Oh, there's a little dill here. Oh, okay. okay, salt let me... and pepper. Yeah, pinch of salt. salt. Some pepper. Pinch of pepper. Good. So I have to finish my dill. Yeah, that's enough. That's I think that's enough. Yeah. Right Okay, just a little bit of lemon juice. A teaspoon? Oh, okay, let's just pour it. Yes. There's boom, that's enough. Okay, uh, that's good. And okay. then what, what else will go in this one? A uh, bit of egg white. We're going to get some egg yeah. white look. And then we mix it up. And then yes. Up. This is your skin. Do you want to do the skin? Yeah. Okay. Spoon. Good, rub it up. So what the uh, salt does absorb all the moisture from here? Okay, the both sides. Okay, and I'm going to put other side. Uh, Sorry, the same thing. Yeah. Just a very pinch. Yeah, well, salt there. So between the two grease proof paper. So I'm gonna just this. about 180 degrees yeah. for about 20 minutes, and that should be ready. So we got fish, which we're gonna grill. We got we are making some mousse, or you can say a bit of farce, which we're gonna roll it up in zucchini yeah. and a bit of onion jam in there, a bit of asparagus. Mm -hmm. we'll make a nice roulade. Okay, we post the post the ruler, we grill the fish, we make a saffron sauce, yep. and here we go. The fish skin cooking, yeah. we have to do this fish. So you want to marinate that one? Yeah. So we like to marinate with um, a bit of uh, seasoning there. So we've got this some salt and pepper. Salt, some salt and pepper pinch of salt. Yeah, some pepper. Pinch of pepper. pepper. And then so a little bit of lemon juice you got, some oh, squeezed yeah. lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. Wait, do you want to put it in like yeah, a spoon? Yeah, just, just pour it over. Oh, oh yeah, just, just pour it over. <laughs> That's good. Right, a little bit of uh, olive oil. Okay. Yeah, very beautiful. Nice, yeah. beautiful cup. I know, and you want to pick some, uh, yeah, your favorite dill? Dill, dill, okay. dill. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to mix this one up. Dill. So now our fish is marinated. Yeah. yeah, that should be enough there. Okay, so that, let's come finish our farce. Oh, we have to, so we have to put some of our egg white, so it was one teaspoon. Yeah. Oh, so stretchy yeah. these days. Yeah, the egg whites. What egg white do is bind it up. Usually, also, there you can put some cream in there. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. but some further. Yeah, cream. So we got our this one ready. Mm hmm. Okay. So I'm going to first cut the yeah. face. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. so we, otherwise we can call, we call it top and tail. Okay, mm. Start with that and you put your hands up yeah, there. And so we have to like it's pretty safe. So why did you do that? So, nice. so you can stand. All right, keep pressing. Excellent. Well, I, okay, that was my head top, so that one was not like 100%. All right, we always keep trying. There you go. You got nice, beautiful st strap. Mm. Excellent. Alright. And you, we pickle it up? Yeah. It will be with a salt, pepper, sugar, yeah? Vinegar. So you got a bit of flavor in there. Right? Yeah. Okay. And then start from the side. So from the. So this side you get nice. And so you, wait. Yeah. So we see this one as some greens this side and green this side and it's very precise. Okay. Yep, so we can use this. Yeah. But for the asparagus now we have to peel. But for the asparagus we have to do it very gently. Why gently? Because you don't want to lose. Yeah. Oh, so, right. 
Yes. So why are you feeling you're getting the woody part out of it? Yeah. You get a nice and soft inside. Okay. Is that asparagus your favorite? Not like like the best thing. Yeah. My favorite vegetable is carrots. Oh yes. You like carrots. Yeah? So what we have to do next? Mm -hmm. We have to snap it. Uh, why you snapping it? So you don't so all the woody uh, woody part out. Yeah. Very quick blanch of those ones. Oh, we have to make a tomato con cascade. <laughs> tomato con cascade, all right. And then we, we are turning the tomato con cascade to confit. Yeah. So we're cooking the tomato con cascade uh, in a grapeseed oil and a, a bit of herbs, the spices. Right, and slow cooking. Yeah. All right. So now that we have peeled our asparagus and zucchini, now we have to do something with this tomato. So we've got our knife, and we have to. We don't put it on the um, like we usually like cut it. We have to like put our hand like on top, so we have a blob. So what you have to do, see that like, like. Uh, the score? Yeah. The score. You have to, so you're taking to, the core. Yeah, so we have to like hold it. So I'm going to make my block. Okay, so you're coring it up. Yeah. So that block is basically. So like it won't sink. You're making sure you're not coring it all the way out. Mm -hmm. Coring this way, you're not wasting tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good job. Excellent. And then mm -hmm. at the back of the tomato, see this like dot? Like, yeah. And they, uh, they get to work. We're just not gonna cut it, we're just gonna like, it up. Okay. Chris. Mm -hmm. So idea of cross. That. Like cross making cross. Chris cross? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so we have to put it like very slowly. Because okay. we don't wanna make a big splash. Cause it's like you don't wanna just like because we might make burn and we have to count for 10, like 10 seconds, like you can count with me. In the meantime, you can uh, blanch the asparagus. Yeah. Okay, so, so we... goes. Yeah, I got what you got here. Um, some ice and some cold water to blanch. Yeah, so blanching, once you blanch it, once you blanch it, yeah. you refresh yeah. the ice water. So okay. there you go. So put that in our So pot. now, when we've done that, let's check on our tomato. Okay. So we have to blanch it now. Yeah, it's a blanch now, so yeah. you refresh it. Yes, put it in there. Good. So let it rest. Yeah. Now, you want to put that... Uh, um, oh, I need my tongs for that one. Yeah. So we have to separate it one. But we have to be delicate because we don't want to break now, it. Just in and out. So in and Oh, all the three more. So what we have to do, we have to get our knife, get the started point, and get our finger and oh, just peel. Oh, like the way you're peeling with the knife, yeah, with the tip of knife. Mm. So you're, then that other edge. You're working on your tomato concasse. Yeah. Cut it enough. Yeah, what's your finger? Okay. Okay. So you basically you're taking the seeds out, right? Yeah, it so I cut it to half. Okay. So I, mm. when it's like this, we're just taking that part out, yeah. like this part. So tomato concasse, basically you're taking a skin off yeah. and the seeds off. And the tomato concasse can be used for salads, yeah, for, for napoli sauce. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. And I like that. Quite fun tomato. It's beautiful, okay? Yeah. So that's just going to last. Excellent. <laughs> So let's let me put all up here so they can see. So we can just... So we've got our zucchini there. Yes. You did the zucchini, you did the asparagus. Mm -hmm. Now you got tomato. Wait, do do it's all done. So next will be, we're making our onion jam. Oh yeah, my favorite yeah. part. Onion jam, your favorite. Yeah, so onion jam will be having some onion, some balsamic. Yeah. Did you put a star? You want to put a star? Yeah, so a bit of place, yeah. A bit of place? All right. So let's go and do our onion jam. Yeah. So now what we have to do for the fun part of this channel video, we have to make onion jam. So let's put onion. onion. Mm -hmm. All of it. All the onion. So nice Spanish onion there. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And then we have to put some balsamic. Balsamic vinegar, your favorite. Yeah? You love balsamic. To start on this, pinch of salt. Sugar. Uh, Just pour it over. Uh, all of it? Yeah, that's what I need. Okay. It's all measured up. And 
uh, some pepper. So can I mix? Okay, okay. Oh, some butter. Yeah, just a little bit of butter. Um, that. Not too much. So this butter is sliced. Yeah. So what you got? You got you got, start to get you know caramelizing. Like five to ten. About yeah, ten minutes in a slow heat. I will let it nicely caramelize. Just making that my juice. You can get ready for your tomato confit. So yeah. here's the pan. Yeah. 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 So do I put this? Yeah. So, put so this. we have to put um this. Yeah. Yeah. Got a little bit of dill, not yeah. too much. And then you got some grapeseed oil. Yeah. Grapeseed oil. And then you got salt and pepper. Yeah, so what we're doing, you're making coffee, plenty of oil, Can pepper, I? seasoning. And a pinch of salt and pepper. Of course, pinch of salt and pepper. Everything needs salt and pepper, mm. except desserts. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah, that's alright. Because they are there. Okay. Now, coffee at a very slow heat. I'm going to lower the heat. I'll give about 10 minutes. Yeah, yes. about. So cooking. About 10 to 9. So now, next is what we're going to, to do. Mash. Not got our onion jam. Ready. Yeah. Comfy will be ready. Mm. Your vegetables are blanched. Okay. Yes. Skin should be ready. Almost ready in the oven. So our farce is ready. Yeah. Okay. Now, so what we'll do, we start rolling it. Okay, so, but Daddy, do we have oh, to... Yeah, you have to put the garlic in there. Ah, oh, just up here. Yeah. Oh. All right, you take it. But you can put the skin, but oh. I like the... You don't like it, right? Okay. Good. Just let it be. If you, if you do too much, what happens? The tomato, tomato is gonna... Concasse. Yeah, concasse. <laughs> it's no more concasse now. It's slowly, it will be. Usually what we do for coffee, we cook it now in a slow oven. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so that's there. We let it cook slowly. Okay, very slow heat. We let it cook there, and then we'll do our rolling up. So now we have to make our roll. Okay, so we're making a roll up now. Yeah. Okay, so, so you're gonna lay the zucchini up. Yep. Okay. To make our roll up. So that's gonna be outer layer. Can I help you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very precise. Yes. Excellent. Got it. No, 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 no. I have to. Okay. Good. Excellent. So you just have to make sure. So what we have, we've got the glad wrap underneath, so that will help us to make it roll. Thank you. Very good, dear. Good job. Okay. Very good. Okay. So I think that's enough. I think like a few more. A few more? Okay. Yeah. So I'll just put them. These are the good ones. I okay, think. good ones. Yeah. Good ones. Hello, good ones. Good ones is that which have a nice outer line. Yeah. Uh, okay, that should be enough. For you. Wait, I just this one. Okay. This the last one. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Now we want to put the thing. Yeah. yeah. Good. So got a nice flavor in there. Yes. A bit of lemon juice. You have an egg white. Okay. Yeah. So now let's. Yeah. The flatten, flatten. So you're gonna roll. You get a nice onion jam. And if there's leftover, your kids will like to eat the leftover because sometimes kids like sweet stuff. Okay, this is all the leftover, I'm gonna have it. No, I'm gonna have it. No, no. Yeah. Okay, it. if we don't agree, then we have to give it to mommy. <laughs> mommy, hi! <laughs> okay, here you go. Mommy like onion jam? Mm. Okay. Okay, let's go a bit, a bit more. Yeah, a bit quicker. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> what next here? So we have to put our star in. Okay, see what I found. Star on it. I don't want anyone to bite the star in this. But you can eat star in it. Okay, okay. I'm going to make a castle. Mmm. So I got three asparagus. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. If I was you, I will season a little bit of those if you like. What? Wait, wait, what do you mean? Yeah, it's a bit of season. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not these ones, a bit of asparagus and then zucchini. Like on top uh, of it. Yeah. So what? Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. So where do I put it? Yeah, just on the zucchini. And there's a bit of here. That's good. That's and it's pepper. Yeah. 
give it a pepper. You want some flavors in uh, the sushi uh, roll. <laughs> it looks like sushi roll. Okay, so now what we do is we Hold it bring it oh. together. Just like a noodle roll you make. California. So push, push, push. Okay. Like that. Good. And then for this I to... got a foil. And come other way. Ah, can I like twist it? Yeah. Can I twist? twist for that side? Twist for this side. The more you twist. Can I do it? Yeah. Slowly get yeah. So now what we do, we we pour that into the hot water hot water until nice and cooked. Okay? So let's go and pour this one. Yeah, now it's, it's almost ready now. So okay. it's been simmering, simmering there for a while. Mm -hmm. So I'm, it's very hot. I'm going to take this one out slowly. And yeah. Let it rest. And then we'll start our sauce. So okay. once the sauce is ready, so that way we're almost ready to plate up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. Uh, great. Ah, good. So can I put a saffron in there? So we're going to make saffron butter sauce so we, we what we want to do we want to take out yeah yeah beautiful yeah a little bit more oh a bit more can we put a little bit more yeah so it got a nice color coming there beautiful okay so by the time the sauce our saffron butter sauce ready mm -hmm. our Skin, remember, crispy mm -hmm. skin is almost ready there. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, that will be the time for plate up. And okay. we got our confit. Yes. Yeah. Beautifully confit ready. And then we we'll slice it up. So, we'll pinch of salt and pepper. Just a little bit salt and pepper. Good. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. That's great. Yeah. So, See the beautiful color coming out now? Yeah. Mmm. Okay. Like a while is really good. And don't want to cut it a little bit. I can't hear you. Don't want to cut it a little bit more. Oh no, that's, that should be enough. Good. Can I just try? Okay. That's good there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I will take it off the heat. Yeah. Slowly start. Yes. Good. So this is our saffron sauce working on it. Yeah. Good. That's it smells good. like milk. <laughs> yes, butter. Butter is uh, this one. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. This one. Make sure. What we're doing, we're just dissolving the butter without getting clarified. Okay, yeah. so it's still it's nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. and it's not split. Okay. So it's gonna also be sour. It will be sour. It will be sour. Because we put some lemon. lemon juice. Yeah. And then it will it, it give a nice color and aroma of saffron. Okay. Now we got all ready. Okay, so sauce ready. And uh, we got our comfy ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got our roulade ready. Mm -hmm. And our skin is ready. Yep. So it's now it's time for plate up. Plate up. Now we have to check if our fish is grilling. Alright, so it's now almost there. We have got the skin side down now. So yeah. I'll turn it over. Very oh. good. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Beautiful. So now the, while the fish is happening now, yeah. we can start doing slicing these ones. Okay, great. Now let me do this one. Mm -hmm. so open that. Uh -huh. It really looks like a sushi. <laughs> that's a sushi, okay. So that's good. Now I'm gonna peel it off and see how it's inside. Oh. Wait, there's another seal. Mm, there's another one. So that's good. Oh, that's ready. Okay, it came out, right? Okay. Oh, the little bit of the color one. Yeah, color one. Yeah, that's good. So I'm going to put the fish. Because we don't want to overcook the fish anymore. Yeah. Just make it nice and simple. Now it's going to go. Yeah, that's ready. Now it's for the fun flat to play top. Okay, so, I have two is And if you want to do that for me, I'll put one. Yeah. Okay. And then, I can, okay, 
Make sure you don't want uh, oil from the confit. Yeah. Yes, very nice and good job there. Shall I hold it for you? Yeah. Yeah, just there. Good. There's a lot of tomatoes. Yeah, good. Oh, nice. You're a nice straight line. Excellent. Oh, it's not flipping. It's okay. Good. All right. So now on that, you have to put, can, can put I put the fish, the fish? Right on here. top? Yep. Slide it through. And now. To put this. Yeah, let me put this one. If you take it under, so you're not gonna. Can I put this way. And then. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. So we have to put our saffron sauce. Yeah, saffron sauce around wherever you want. You go around. Daddy, it's so fun. <laughs> That was good fun doing yeah. this, isn't it? So it's fantastic. Taste. Yeah, it's time to taste. taste. So let's I'm gonna taste one by one. I'm gonna taste a bit of the crisp. Mm, sauce is good. Mm. The sauce is um, very sour. Mm. Mm. Well, look at it. Some. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at that. Mm. How does that fish taste? Mm. Excellent. As I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, download, and bye.